Hey, how's it going on guys? So in this video, we'll discuss about this problem, interval list intersections. Given two list of closed intervals, each list of intervals is pairwise disjoint and in sorted order. Return the intersection of the two interval list. So let us try to consider one example first. So for this example, A is 0 to 5, 10, 13, 23 and 24, 25. So I have represented A over here. Then we have B as 1, 5, 8, 12, 15, 24 and 25, 26. So B is represented over here. It can be clearly seen that there exists an intersection from this point to this point, which is this intersection. Then there exists an intersection from this point to this point, which is this. There exists an intersection from this point to this point, which is this and so on. Correct. Now let us try to understand how can you solve this problem. Now first focus on the first interval of both A list and B list. That is this interval. And out of these two intervals, so we have the start point as start one and the end point as end one for this. And for this, we have the start point as a start two and end point as end two. Now we will focus on that interval, which is having a lesser end value or lesser end point. So clearly end one is less than end two. So we are trying to focus over this interval. Now I want to make some important points about this interval. The first point being the end value here, end one is going to be less than the end value of all the intervals in A and B. Why is that? Because first of all, the list are sorted and we have already said that end one is less than end two. So clearly end one is going to be the least or the smallest end value of all the intervals in A and B. This is the first point. Second point is this interval can intersect with at most one interval in B list. Why is that? So let us try to consider that there exist multiple intervals in the B list, which are intersecting with this interval. So if there are multiple intervals, then they must have this point in common that is A and 1 because their endpoints must be greater than this thing and 1. But actually that's not possible. Why is that? Because it is given that each list of intervals is pairwise disjoint. What is the meaning of this? It means that this interval and this interval cannot have any point in common. They must have their own space. So it's going to have its own space. It's going to have its own space. They cannot have a common intersecting point. Now, what I just said is in case this interval it is, is intersecting with multiple intervals of B list, then this point is going to be a common point, which is not possible. So we can say that for this interval, there can exist at most one interval in B list, which can intersect with this. This is the first point. Now, what we will try to do is we will just maintain two pointer algorithm over here. So we have I, which will point to this interval first and J, which will point to this interval first. Now I know that since end one, is less than n2 this interval can intersect with this interval only and no one else so what can i do is first i'll try to find the intersection between this interval and this interval and then i'll simply add the value of i by one so the interval which i is pointing to is currently this then it will point to this reason being this interval can intersect only with this interval so there is no point of using this interval anymore so we'll just focus on the next interval now the question arises, how can we find the intersection between this interval and this interval? That's pretty straightforward. How is that? Take the max of start one and start two and take the min of end one and end two. Now in case the min of end one and end two is greater than the start of start one and start two, we can say that intersection exists. Think about it. Pause the video. Think about it. What I just said. And the intersection will lie from the max of start and the min of end. Correct. So actually I've written an algorithm over here. So if you want to have a read edit, you can just pause the video and read about it. And now I'll just write the code for this algorithm and then things will be more clear. Okay. So first what I'll do is I'll maintain a list of integer array. Let's call it list equals new array list. Why I'm maintaining an array list instead of an integer array? Reason being, I don't know how many intersections are going to be there. So first we will create a list and then we will convert this list into the array. Now we will have two pointers that is I, which is zero and J, which is zero. Okay. Now we'll run a loop while I is less than a dot length and J is less than B dot length. Now I'll create two variables that is min of start 
that is going to be actually that not the min of start it's going to be actually the max of start correct the max of start and the min of end so this is going to be the max of start sorry so it's going to be math dot max of a this is i zero and b j zero similarly i have min of end so this is going to be math dot min of a i one b j one now in case max start is less than equals to min end what i can say is i'll add one value over here that is from max start to min end what i'm saying over here is if this condition holds true then there exists an intersection from max start to min end so you can see over here the max start is start 2 that is this the min end is end 1 so there exists an intersection from start 2 to end 1 that's what we are doing over here correct after this what you have to check after this we have to check uh, in case a of i 1 is less than b of j 1 in that case i'll increment i else i'll increment j so what we are trying to do is we are trying to find for which interval the end value is lesser or smaller so the one if, if it is smaller for this i'll move i over here otherwise i'll move j over here so that's what we are doing over here so after this is done we will have our intersections in this list so we have to convert this list into an array so let us name this array result Okay, the number of rows or the number of results are going to be equal to the list dot size and the columns are going to be equal to 2. Next, I'll initialize i to 0 again and I'll simply iterate over this list. What I can say is result i plus plus equals arr and I can simply return this result. So let me just run this code first. So it's giving the correct result. Let me submit the solution. So it got accepted. So I know it's kind of a tricky algorithm. So try to see the video one more time if you have any doubts. I think I've done justice in understanding this question. So I guess that's it from the video. In case you have learned anything from the video, you can hit that like button. And in order to support my work, you may consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you all.